Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to write python program to get a substring of a string so guys this python program will help you to get the substring of a string so we can use slicing in python in order to print the substrings now guys a substring is nothing but it is a part of a string that we want to print on the terminal so guys let us move to the vs code over here let's say we have a string that is programming for beginners which is the name of this youtube channel that you should definitely subscribe if you have not done so so over here we have the value as programming for beginners now guys let us say we want to only display programming word over here so how do we do that so over here simply we can have the print keyword followed by open and close brackets and then inside this we can provide the str variable now guys we can easily provide the indices inside the open and close square brackets over here so the very first index it will be equal to 0 because we want to start from this letter that is p so the start index it is equal to 0 and then we have to provide a colon and then we can simply provide the end index and that is how the slicing works so what will be the end index over here we need to count the number of letters so we have the indices over here as 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have 10 letters over here so this last letter it belongs to the 10th index but guys we need to give an extra index which is not included over here so when we provide 11 the 11th index will not be included that is the space will not be included but the g letter will be included so only from 0 up to 10 index numbers will be included over here in this string slicing because this is the way that we find the substring from the given original string let me just save this file now and try running this code so as you can see we have got programming word which is the substring of this original string over here now guys let us say we want this beginners to be displayed so what we can do is again we can count the indices so g was at the 10th index and then we have 11 over here and then these are the indices that is 11 12 13 14 15 and 16 so this b character is starting from the 16th index so instead of 0 over here we have to start from the 16 and then guys in order to go up to the end of the string we need not have to provide any end index over here so after the 16 being mentioned as the start index we provide a colon and then if we don't provide the end index which means all the characters from the 16th index will be considered over here in order to be printed now guys let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we have got the beginners word over here being printed on the terminal now guys let us include some more characters over here in order to check whether those are being included or not when we are providing just the start index and not the end index so let's say we have a b c d over here and then we have x y z along with the space characters as well so let me just save this file now this time also we should get beginners but then we should also get a b c d and then x y z that's because we have not provided the end index over here so let me just run this code once again so as you can see we have got beginners a b c d x y z so guys this is the way in order to get the substring from a original string based on your requirements this string slicing also has the third parameter so after this colon if we don't want to provide the second parameter we provide the colon once again and then we can provide the third parameter as well which is the step parameter so let's say we want to ignore the characters at these even positions that is e and then i and then this n over here and then r over here so we provide the step as 2 over here by default the step will be 1 so all the characters will be considered but when we provide the step as 2 alternate characters will be ignored over here and only the other characters will be displayed so let me just save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we have got capital B followed by G and then we have N over here and then we should have E, S and then A and then C so the same things are being displayed over here E, S, A, C followed by a space character and then in the end we have got Y over here now guys similarly we can also provide minus 1 in order to display all these characters in the reverse order so when we save this file now and try running this code once again so as you can see we have got this programming for and then up to B we have got all the data which is in the reverse format so guys this is the way that we can use in order to extract the substring from the original string 
please make sure that you practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is python program to print output without a new line so stay tuned